So I was doing a training this week, and um, a lot of times in basic training, I try to explain how uh, part rotation and toe direction works with angle profiles um, in the model. And um, here, I'm just going to quickly explain that. If I actually select on this angle here, you'll see that the yellow start point is uh, sort of towards the left, and the second point to the end point, the magenta point, is um, sort of up or towards the right here on the screen. You'll see that if I were in a plan view, my X would be going to the right, a Y would be going um, up and down, and then Z would be in and out of the screen at me. Uh, basically, pretty close to what the global work plane would be. Z would be going up and down. First thing to explain is whenever you double click on a part and you look at its rotation properties, based on the current work plane, so when you do change the work plane in the model, these rotation properties will actually change. But based on the positive ZX, Z axis, which is going up and down right now, Whenever you click on a part and you look at the rotation, that means that's the surface that you're looking at that is lined up with the positive Z axis. So if I was looking down on this, I know that Z is coming in and out at me. And based on this rotation, I'm looking at the bottom or below surface of that angle. So let me double check that. Let's go ahead and switch this to front and modify. Now I'm looking at the front face of the angle. So the front face of this angle is lined up with the positive Z axis. If I switch this to top, then basically the top of the long vertical leg or the, the toe of the vertical long leg of the angle is going to be pointing up. And this is the top of the angle. Okay, let me just undo that a couple times and go back. And why does this matter? Well, especially with asymmetrical angles, a lot of people like uh, they try to come in here and they try to mess with this rotation in order to get um, like sort of the angle to toe the other way. And if you actually see um, when I select both the angles, notice that I in order to change the toe direction. So it's going outward, um, you know, here on this angle and then on this angle, it's going to the left. This one's going to the right. I actually have to use the swap ends tool or model the uh, the angle in opposite directions. So here I picked the first point, then second point. On this one, I picked first point and then second point below. And that determines sort of basically the toe direction of that, um, you know, that second leg or the small leg of the angle. Um, so something else to understand here is that when you have an asymmetrical angle, the first number, the larger number, is always going to be the depth or the web of the angle. And the smaller number is always going to be the outstanding flange or the, the small leg of the angle. And essentially, whenever you're actually looking at the small leg of the angle, that means you're looking at the bottom of that angle. And in this particular case, the below or bottom of the angle just happens to be lined up with the positive Z axis of the current work plane. So that's how I know that I'm looking at that below surface. Now watch this. This is actually the main part of an assembly. So if I take a look at this here, the main part of the assembly actually drives um, the coordinate system of how you actually draw or make an assembly drawing. So it's pretty important which part you select to be your main part in the model. Also, whenever you make single part drawings, there's going to be a top, uh, front, back, and below surface um, that you can actually show on the shop drawings. So watch this. Notice that I've got my cut over here to the left. I've got my yellow work point for this angle um, also sort of to the left here. And I'm actually just going to go ahead and open up the shop drawing related to this. So if I come in here, open up the assembly drawing, and then I'll just uh, move this over. I want you to carefully look at this. If I go into the drawing properties under view creation, I have the top view on and I have the front view on. So down here at the bottom, this is the front view. And then the top view is a rolled out view of the front view. And notice that the angles are actually towing at me. Well, why is that happening? So if this is the front view, then that must mean that the front view on a uh, angle in the model must be essentially the vertical long leg. Um, and it's um, actually the uh, flange is towing towards me. So this is actually the front face, right? And that's why we actually see here. Um, in fact, I'd almost have to flip this thing completely upside down, like uh, you know, 180 degrees in order for me to see how this is actually drawn out. So the top, the top view is essentially going to be lined up with the, uh, the toe of the long vertical leg of the angle. And that's why we're seeing on the shop drawing essentially, and I'd, I'd have to completely rotate this around, we're essentially seeing this inside of the shop drawing. And it's like basically like an upside down view of the actual roof frame. So see, there's that. And then you look at that, there's the cut. And we're looking at the, um, the vertical leg, the six inch long leg towing at us in the top view. So this confuses a lot of people. Um, they're like, why, why is my drawing upside down compared to what I modeled? I, I just really don't get it. I don't know what happened here. 
So let me actually close the drawing down. Then we will go back and I actually made a little tool with the API to try to explain this to users. Um, here, uh, using the graphics drawer in the API, I can actually just read the parts uh, coordinate system, local coordinate system, which the zero zero local coordinate system of a part is always closest to the yellow start point. And then the positive X axis goes from the yellow start point to the magenta endpoint. Now watch this. If I actually uh, select the part and say show part faces, notice that below is lined up here. Going back to my rotation, positive Z axis of the work plane in the model, below is lined up with the positive Z. And that actually makes sense. In the shop drawing, we saw that the top uh, view of the main part of the assembly had the leg coming towards us, right? And it's actually flipped even 180 degrees around them. I won't do that with the 3D rotation because it gets messy. But basically here, I just want you to see that the front face here on this angle, and since this is the main part of the assembly, that's the front view of the shop drawing. The below view, if I went in there, would actually show the frame like it's oriented in the model. So let's actually check that out. So if I go back into the shop drawing, and instead of the top view, I turned on the bottom view. So let's say top view, and let's just go to bottom view here, and say modify. Notice now, the flipped out bottom view of the main part of the assembly. This is the front view looking at the vertical six inch leg of the main part of the assembly. And now the bottom view is flipped out here and we're seeing the uh, long vertical legs towing away from us from underneath the roof frame. And that basically matches what I actually see over here in the model. So if I close the drawing down, that would match that this is the below or the bottom view of the main part of that assembly. Let's just finish this up with a uh, single part drawing. And that's actually a little bit easier to understand. So if we go in here, open up the W drawing or the single part drawing, the front face of the uh, this angle six by three and a half, we're looking at the vertical long leg, which is the web, right? That's the front or the back. And right now I have the front view turned on. So the front view is always gonna show the short leg towing towards us. And that actually matches what we see here. Notice the cut is towards the right in the model but here it's towards the left in the drawing. And that's because um, this is basically flipped upside down. I'm looking at the bottom surface of this currently in the model, and that's lined up with the positive Z. But when I make the shop drawing, it's looking at the front, and then the top view is going to be looking like basically from underneath here. And then the bottom view, which I also have turned on, is going to be looking from underneath the angle, which just happens to be lined up in the model. So technically, I'm looking at the um, basically the angle in the model like I see here in the bottom view of this single part drawing on the angle. So take a look at this a couple of times and uh, hopefully this will make sense. But essentially, uh, the part rotation and based on the current work plane, that's one thing. But then understanding um, sort of what the different faces or surfaces are on angles and beams and things like that, that actually helps you understand when you create your shop drawings, which view you're actually looking at, especially with the main part of an assembly. If you found this content useful, please subscribe to our channel and press the alerts button to be notified when we upload new content.